everybody welcome to my channel so today we're gonna talk about drugstore curly hair products so if you have been around for any of my reviews any of my curly hair videos I have a whole playlist you know that I tend to stay away from silicones in my products or at the very least I complain about higher-end products having silicones in them because I don't feel like they're worth the money if it's not really giving you true hydration or kind of like coating your hair that's the thing about silicones it's not I mean, people have varying opinions about how bad it is for your hair. I just genuinely believe that it just coats your hair, gives this appearance of looking good, but it doesn't really, you know, like do anything like penetrating it and stuff. So <laughs> I went out and bought a whole bunch of Garnier Fruit Tea stuff. And this is stuff that I had when I was a little kid, when I was a teenager even. I used to do a lot of Garnier Fruit Teas, Herbal Essences, like the Totally Twisted line. I love that stuff. There's an airplane flying by. But as I got older, I kind of went more into the curly hair method, which is getting rid of sulfate silicones, doing like co-washes and stuff. So I wanted to go back to it because it worked when I was a little kid. And I still see a lot of people, despite like the curly hair method, I still see a lot of people that use silicones and stuff like that. I'm not using sulfates. I'm still sticking to my like Diva Curl shampoo and conditioner. But I decided to buy some styling products from Garnier for Tees. And I applied them to my head, which you're about to see in a little bit. I'm going to just voice over that whole part. But I am conflicted in doing it because I know I talk all this stuff about ingredients. But this is all really affordable. And money is going to be really tight in these upcoming months for me personally. So I figured, why not just buy some products? Everything was under $40. And test them out because my hair is still on the recovery road to being healthy again all this red stuff is pretty damaged hair it's my blonde hair underneath the red overtone so I'm still growing out my hair anyway so all this is gonna get chopped as it continues to grow I'm due for a trim really soon so I figured let's try it out these are the results actually but you're gonna get a much up close view in a second I'll have everything time stamped down below if you want to skip around and yeah let's just jump right into it so after shampooing and conditioning my hair, I'm going to put on a leave-in conditioner. So this is from Garnier Fruit Teas. As I mentioned earlier, it is their Curl Nourish Air Dry Buttercream. I'm applying a generous amount onto my palms. Then I'm going to evenly scrunch it into my hair. This looks a little bit rough on camera for some reason, but I promise I was gentle with my hair. I'm just trying to evenly coat it, promote some definition. It's funny because I definitely remember using something like this when I was younger. So after I'm done with the leave-in conditioner, I'm going to use this cream gel. It's called a cream gel, but it's mostly the consistency of a gel. You can see it kind of sliding down my palm. I'm going to repeat the same exact process that I did with the other one. I'm just scrunching it all over my hair. I like to layer my products. Ideally, you wouldn't need, like if the products you're using are, perform are going to perform well with your hair, you don't really need a bunch of them, but I'm someone that likes to layer all my products. So now I'm using more of a cream styler. This one's for definition, but I did see one in stores that was for moisture or hydration, but I chose the one for definition and I'm applying it all over my hair. I'm just trying to get a good feel for these products. And in general, I do tend to layer products a lot. So let me know in the description box down below whether you just like to use one product on its own or if you like to use a bunch together. So now I'm going to use the Curl Construct Mousse all over my hair. It's a very lightweight foam and I'm going to repeat the same process that you just saw me do with the other products. I'm just going to scrunch it all over my hair till it's evenly distributed and that's what my curls look like while they're wet. I let them air dry for a couple hours as I usually do. I don't like using a diffuser and then here it is when it is completely dry. I think it brought out a good amount of curls in my hair almost similarly to what I get with silicone free products. Time will tell though with using these products consistently if they're gonna have a toll on my hair, well, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys use these products? How do you feel about silicones and hair products? Do you use the curly method? Let me know down below and I will see you guys next time if you made it to the end. I really, really appreciate it. Bye guys. 